What's up, Magic players? Well, yesterday's weekly MTG had a ton of new info, so let's dive right in. Blake Rasmussen was joined by Greg Tito, the Senior Communications Manager for Dungeons & Dragons at Wizards of the Coast and host of Dragon Talk, to go over these new announcements dubbed the Summer of Legend. First up, the paired showed off a trailer for the new D&D video game Dark Alliance. The trailer shows off a lot of cinematics and combat from the action RPG, which will be available June 22nd on PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. Modern Horizons 2 was next up on the list, which had its release date pushed back by a week. With the new release date of June 18th, Weekly MTG will start some previews on Thursday, May 20th, with full previews starting the following Monday, May 24th. Since this is a supplemental set with mostly reprints, the previews will only last about a week, and the full image gallery will be updated June 2nd. The enemy fetches were shown off, featuring the original artwork and with the two different treatments that will be found in Modern Horizons 2. Continuing the trend started with Throne of Eldraine, there will be extended art versions of the cards, and since the team thought that the Old Border treatment from Time Spiral Remastered would be a hit, they decided to use that frame again for Modern Horizons 2. Much like the original Modern Horizons, this set will also be adding cards to the modern pool, including the Biobox promo, Sanctum Prelate, which will come in the retro frame. Another powerful addition for control decks comes to modern with Counterspell, which will appear at uncommon in draft boosters, but also has an extended art version. One new card was shown off from the set, Urza's Saga. An enchantment land that's also a saga, the first chapter allows it to tap to add a colorless mana, the second chapter lets you pay two and tap to get a 0-0 artifact creature that gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control, and the third chapter lets you search your library for an artifact with mana cost zero or one and put it onto the battlefield. Field. There have already been questions surrounding the third chapter, and Aaron Forsyth has clarified that the card is search for mana cost zero, not mana value, so it can't search for things like artifact lands or mox tantalite, which doesn't have a mana cost. Modern Horizons 2 wasn't the only set with previews though, and one of the main reasons that Greg Tito joined was to talk about Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. The release date for this set has also been shifted and will now be on July 23rd, with previews starting on June 29th. The first cards we get to see from the set are the basic lands, which for the first time ever will feature flavor text. Each piece of flavor text is written like a prompt that would be provided by a dungeon master. Some of the most iconic items, spells, and creatures are also being translated to magic. Portable Hole in D&D is a small cloth that can be expanded and placed on a solid surface to create an extra-dimensional 10-foot hole. In Magic, it's an artifact for one white that exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana value two or less until it leaves the battlefield. Power Word Kill is a high-level spell that instantly kills a creature in D&D, and in Magic, it's an instant that can, well, kill most creatures. The creature type Halfling is also being introduced to Magic for the first time, as shown on Prosperous Innkeeper. It wouldn't be Dungeons & Dragons without some of the title creatures, and they picked a big one to show off. Tiamat in D&D lore is the queen of evil dragons, with five heads of different colors representing each of the chromatic dragon types, white, blue, black, red, and green. Sounds pretty familiar. The Biobox promo will make heads roll with the equipment Vorpal Sword. Finally, the frame treatment for the set will show off some classic D&D monsters with a classic rulebook frame and artwork just like this beholder. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm really excited for these ones. A new secret layer super drop will be coming out between the release of Modern Horizons 2 and Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, but no other info was provided, except for the cryptic hint that it will be, quote, totally refreshing. My guess? Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel Secret Layer Drop. The COVID-19 pandemic has been hard on a lot of businesses, including local game stores that have not been able to have in-store play. Starting May 28th, that changes for US-based stores as Wizards of the Coast is sanctioning in-store play once more. Stores will still have to operate according to local guidelines, but players should be battling at local game stores by the end of the month. To help boost up those stores, Wizards is also providing two incentives for players. Starting on June 18th, WPN stores will have foil, classic frame copies of Fabled Passage to give away to customers who purchase $50 or more of sealed product. On top of that great news, WPN stores will also be receiving a limited supply of Mystery Booster Convention Edition for draft and in-store play. On the digital side, the historic format on MTG Arena will get a shakeup with Historic Anthology 5. Releasing on May 27th, it will add 25 new cards, including Vorinclex Voice of Hunger and Whirl 
Solar Rogue, which could possibly shake up this Strixhaven Championship scheduled for June 4th through the 6th. Fan favorite Jumpstart will also return to Arena as well, starting on June 4th. Finally, in July, there will be a new short time event called Mirror Mirror, where some of the cards that are banned in Historic will have rebalanced versions available to play. That's your Magic the Gathering news for today, Friday, May 7th. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.